Look at America. Look at how separated we are. The racism, the discrimination, the ignorance. You just feel somewhat alone at times. I mean, of course there are times when I'm like with other people of my skin color and I feel, I feel like when I'm with them, I feel a lot better about myself and who I am. I feel more secure, but the, most of my life I'm adopted, so I live in a completely white family in a mostly white town, so I've always felt like like I couldn't be myself, like I was almost trying to be white, but there was something I would like never get to, obviously, you can't change who you are. Lately, patriotism has become associated with racism, and people are working to restore the dignity of our flag. I don't think anyone should have to wonder that they have to work twice as hard to be able to provide for their families, or that they have to question whether they're being given a just judgment um, or a fair trial. It makes you scared to walk the streets or for your children to be out and about in certain areas. It makes you question your movements. Um, recently, I had a young lady say to me, you know, well, you shouldn't move to somewhere where, people shouldn't move to somewhere where they're, they're not wanted. And I thought in 2020, for anyone to feel like they can't move somewhere that they would like to live or to be in an area or a job that they would like to be in because somebody else doesn't like them because of something that they can't change, um, I think that that's, you know, really an awful feeling. Racist ideas have been spreading via the media for decades. As more and more people become anti-racist, people are working tirelessly to refute these ideas that have long corrupted people's minds. But there is hope. Ibram X. Kendi once said, racist and anti-racist are not fixed identities. We can be a racist one minute and an anti-racist the next. What we say about race, what we do about race, in each moment, determines what, not who, we are.